video tutorial I've put together for you to help you understand what to think about when you're A, designing your box um, and um, how you're going to construct it. I think uh, it's useful to know how you construct it first before you design because that can inform what sort of box you're going to do. Is it going to have compartments in it? Is it going to have a lid? Is it going to be a box with drawers in? Is it going to be square or is it going to be curved? So knowing a few things about construction will help you make good choices in your design. So um, I'm going to start off with this first chapter, chapter one, and that's constructing a, a simple box shape with a lid. Okay, so um, we're looking at a 200 millimeter by 200 millimeter square box. So I've pre-cut some stuff. I've used the, the, the large cutting machine, the guillotine in the foyer. Um, that's good for this construction card. It's really thick, but I'll also show you how you can cut by hand in a moment. So this is the 200 by 200 square that's been cut. And then I've um, also cut some side pieces. Um, the side pieces also can be 200 mil in length, so it's really easy, this construction. You don't have to think about the width of the card. Um, you only need to worry about keeping everything the same in the way that we're going to construct this. So the, the square base is 200 by 200, and the sides, I've chosen a depth of um, 50 millimetres, and again, they're 200 millimetres in length. So obviously, I need four of those. So I've got these pre-cut here, and I'm just going to show you how you can cut one by hand just to finish off that last piece. So you will need a cutting mat, um, and you'll have a long strip like this. Metal ruler, always a metal ruler, um, obviously when you're cutting so you don't cut your fingers because a knife can slice through a pla plastic ruler. Um, and a Stanley knife. So I need this one to just be 200 millimetres. So I'm going to measure that, 200 millimetres. And really what you should do to get a nice even line is put another mark down the bottom so you get a nice straight line. And then slice along using the Metal ruler, and obviously we've got our cutting mat so we don't cut the table. Put the blade back down, put that to one side, you don't need that once you're finished. Okay, so the, like I say, this construction method is really simple, it's pretty difficult to get it wrong really. So what we're going to do is we're going to use your thicker um, 3.5mm um, masking tape. Just, uh, the masking tape is just used to put things into the right spot. Um, we're going to use a different type of tape to reinforce and strengthen your structure. So, what we do is we just um, place the, the join we're going to make. We want a couple of millimetres um, gap between the two pieces. That allows us to bend them up. Maybe one millimetre is enough. That allows you to bend them up once you've stuck those. You just place the masking tape on that join, keeping that gap. turn it over uh, and do the same again. So once you've got that far, next we're going to build up the sides. So it's really easy, we just join them together again using the masking tape just to secure things into place. 
The reinforcement of that comes a little bit later. really your base structure for um, your box shell. Um, in a later chapter you'll see how you reinforce that and make it stronger and nice and neat and tidy, um, but for the moment that's the basic shell for that. Chapter two. So we are looking at, we've made our base shell, um, our main box, and so now what we're going to do is make a lid for this box. Now you may have a lid in your design, you may not, that's up to you. So um, the lid we have made slightly bigger. Um, so remember the box was based on 200 millimeters. Now roughly a good guide is if you add another five millimeters to the size of your square. So it's now um, 205 millimeters by 205 millimeters. And that will make it big enough to slide over the top. So I've again pre-cut this ready. And then I have got the three sides to put on. Again, the sides, because we're using this way make model of construction, you can have the same length for your sides. The depth I've done smaller, so remember, the depth here was 50 millimeters. Now we're going slightly smaller for the lid at 30 millimeters. So we join those all in the same way. So you put masking tape, masking tape, just like you did for the base of the box. Um, and then you will end up with a box that has a lid that slides nicely over the top.